man, 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 you know. I love this life, man. I'm talking about this lifestyle of pimping at home, man. It's a beautiful thing, man. You know, I, I seen some shit today that really had me sparked, you dig? Some shit that really got my pimping excited, you dig? And <clears throat> the beautiful thing about the situation is that, you know, it's I, I'm excited about something, you know, that's not even necessarily for myself or involves me, you dig? I'm excited about a, a situation that involves my partner, you dig? My P partner, and I mean, I ain't gonna necessarily put him out there. He might not, he might not want it to be put out there <clears throat> for everybody to know. You dig, but hey, man, I'm really excited about my partner, man. You know, he he come up on some new game. You know, recently, right? So I'm I'm seeing this game for the first time. You dig? You know, he got some fresh turnout work and shit like that. So. You know, I'm 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 paying attention, you know, because I come around him and in, in his fresh work, you dig? And I'm just seeing the way that she's just so attentive to this man, you know, just so unselfish with this man. You know, the, the, the little bit of time that I got to see the both of them interacting, you dig? And like I say, this is a fresh turnout, you know what I mean? But the little bit of time that I got to see them interacting with one another... Her whole her whole movement, everything was just so unselfish. She was just so attentive to this man and she wasn't worried about herself at all. You dig in. I believe a big part of the reason why she wasn't worried about herself at all is because she has such great confidence in this man, you know, as the man in her life, as the leader, you know, as the ism in her life, you dig. It was just such a beautiful thing to see, man. I like I say, me. You know, it, it had my pimp and spark. It had me excited about the situation. You know, it was just a beautiful thing to see, man. And, you know, she she not only was a, a beautiful bitch physically, you know, but just her conduct was beautiful, you know. She just had beautiful conduct about herself. Now, you know, for for a guy like me, hey, good day to you, sir. I see you, man. Top of the day to you. But, you know. <clears throat> I'm just talking about how, you know, a, a partner of mine, you know, just just came up on a fresh young lady in his life, man, and, and, and it had me sparked, you dig? It had me excited because I got to see the two of them interacting briefly earlier today, you know what I mean? And, and just, just, a, just the beauty of the way this young lady was handling herself. It's such a rarity to see a young lady in the game today conduct herself like that. Absolutely. Yes, sir. Cali all day. You dig? But it was such a beautiful thing to see the way that this young lady was conducting herself. She just had such a such an unselfish aura about herself. You know, she was just so attentive to my partner, man. And uh like I say, this shit had me excited. You know, like I say, this this is the essence of the pimping. This is the beauty of the pimping. You know, a lot of motherfuckers be just so concerned with they self and you know when they pimp all they thinking about is they self instead of pimping for the game you know you get a lot more blessings in the game when you pimp in consideration of the game you know as opposed to only consideration of yourself you dig it's just a beautiful thing when you got the whole you know the, the goodness of the game in mind when you pimping you know what I mean cuz like I said I seen my partner with this bitch, man, and you know, physically she's a beautiful bitch. But <clears throat> how often do you see physically beautiful bitches? Now I mean, me myself, I see them all the time. You dig? But this bitch that my partner just came up on, she's not just physically beautiful, but she has beautiful integrity about herself. You dig? She got beautiful character about herself. You know what I mean? You can just tell that this this young lady is just banked up on integrity. And me myself, like I say, this is this is where the essence and the beauty of the pimping come in. You know what I mean? The average cat who see their partner come up in the game on a on a on a beautiful bitch, a bitch that's just into their partner and digging their partner, you know what I mean? And you know, it's it's 
you you could just see the harmony between them. You know what I mean? It's just such a beautiful thing, you know, for the sake of the game and for the sake of them two involved. You know, when you know your partner that probably done went through a whole bunch of faggot ass bitches and then he finally come up on this bitch, you could just see. You could just read the situation and see that it's going to be a beautiful encounter. You know what I mean? And then thinking about it from the bitch's perspective, she probably done went through all kind of sucker-ass niggas in her life, you know, that served her injustice. You know what I mean? That she done bent over backwards for and it just was to no avail. You dig? So when you see two people like that come together, you know, like I say, a lot of cats, you know, they pimp only in consideration of themselves and not for the game. So they're going to be looking at that type of shit like, you know, I'm supposed to have that bitch, you know. How come I can't have this bitch? And they gonna, the whole time they're going to be thinking about like, man, this is supposed to be my bitch. Instead of, you know, just being happy for their partner, you dig? You know, because like I said, when I seen my partner come up on this bitch, man, and I and I got to see the both of them interacting with one another, it was just a beautiful thing. I just like to see good pimping and hoeing going on, you know, even if it doesn't directly involve me myself, you know. I just love this game so much, you know what I mean? I like to see good pimping and hoeing going on, you know what I mean? And me, myself, like I said, that's the beauty and the essence of this pimping. The pimping can look at his partner see his partner come up on a beautiful bitch and just, you know, appreciate that type of shit. You dig? Be excited for the both of them about that type of shit. You dig? Like me, I, I just love to see good pimping and hoeing going on. You know what I mean? And I'm not that type of individual that look at my partner come up on a certain bitch and be like, man, that's supposed to be my bitch. You know what I mean? He ain't supposed to have that bitch. That bitch supposed to be for me. You know what I mean? But you get your blessings like that in the pimping, you know what I mean? When you can look at your partner and be like, you know what, man? That's a beautiful thing, man. It, it kind of had me sparked up, you know? Because, you know, as a pimp in this game, just like real hoes go through the shit. You know, certain real hoes, they're going to go through a whole bunch of sucker-ass niggas before they come across that, that one real P. You dig? But a lot of times, hoes get discouraged, you know what I mean? And they start having such a sour taste in their mouth for the pimping that they might not want to try to choose again, you dig? But, you know, the pimping go through the same thing, you dig? Pimping go through a whole bunch of punk-ass bitches in this game. And, you know, the pimping, we don't we don't have that, that outlook on the game like, oh, well, you know, I done been through so many faggot-ass bitches in this game, you know what I mean? I'm just going to... You know, I'm going to stop fucking with these bitches, man. Because all of them is going to be punks. You know, if I come up on another bitch, it's most likely that she going to be a punk too. Because the last 10, 15 bitches all been punks. So if I come up on a new bitch, she going to be a punk too. So why even do it? Why even try? I might as well leave this shit alone. You know, when you really love this game, I mean, you, are, you know it's always going to be somebody out there for you, man. Somebody out there, you know, this 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 looking to have a solid motherfucker in their life, just like you looking to have a solid motherfucker in your life, you know. So <clears throat> I say all that to say, you know, like me, I don't I don't allow myself to get discouraged, you know. And when I see one of my partners come up on a solid ass bitch, you know what I mean, and I'm talking about beyond just a bitch that make a gang of money, beyond a bitch that's just hold on, look like my signal getting weak. Hold up. Is it because I moved? Hold up. Okay, here we go. But yeah. Um, like I was saying, you know, like, when I see one of my partners, you know, naturally I'm already, I, I, I never get discouraged by the game, you know. I never get discouraged whenever I go through a whole bunch of punk ass bitches or, you know, they might not ever necessarily even be punk ass bitches. They just might not be the right bitches for me. You know, they might be the right bitches for the next P, you dig? But whenever I go through the wrong bitches for me, you know, I don't I don't allow that shit to discourage me in this game, you know, and you know, it, it just be confirmation when I see my partner come up on that right bitch for him, you dig? And and knowing that he's the right pimping for her hoeing. You know what I mean? It's it's just a beautiful thing, man. Like I said, that shit give me spark. Know what I mean? It 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 it, it just it's it's confirmation to you know the outlook that I have. It, it it lets me know, okay, this is the reason why I see things the way that I do. 
And I mean, it just, it just further affirms that in my mind, you dig, you know, shit that I already know. It's like, okay, yeah, you know, it is still going on. It is still some solid bitches out here, you know, they want some pimping in their life, you know, they want some justice served to them. You dig? Yeah. Yeah, I feel you on that, Ramon. She she had a real example in her life to emulate, you know what I mean? And it's 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 funny you say that because like me myself, I like to uh I like to know a bitch's background. You know what I mean? I like I like to know a bitch's, you know, like what type of relationship we had she had with her family or you know, whatever type of loved ones or whoever it was that she was raised around or by and all that type of shit, you know, I like to know, you know, what type of relationship she had with her people, you know what I mean? And what type of relationship she has today, you know, what she went through with them growing up, you know what I mean? And, you know, what type of, what type of, uh, degree of love that they got for one another, you dig? Like me, I like to know all that type of shit because... You know, that's just me, myself. Like, I'd have had bitches that hate their mama. And me and them type of bitches usually don't work out. I I don't know. You know, I might not even know the reason why they hate their mama. But typically, bitches that hate their mama, me and them don't, don't, don't work out. Not I me. Mean? Because, you, I don't know, maybe it's because I love my mama or something like that. You dig? You know, or, you know, bitches that might have a father and, and, and might hate him. You know what I mean? And he might have been there in her life the whole time, you know, just like her mama might have been there in her life the whole time and she hate her. You know, <clears throat> you got bitches that had a, a, a father in their life growing up, but they just hate him for whatever reason. You know what I mean? Like me and them type of bitches just don't, don't get along. Or if it's a grandmother or. Whoever it was that raised them, if a bitch got like a type of hatred for them type of people, you know that she that she uh is is family, you know this her family and she was raised with or around or whatever, you know bitches that hate them type of people in their life, it just never it usually don't work out with me, you know what I mean? And like you was just saying, like the gentleman was just saying, you know, this bitch that my partner just came up on. She's like a real unselfish young lady. You know what I mean? She was just really attentive to his every move. You know, she wasn't even necessarily thinking about herself. And like I say, I believe that the reason for that is because she was just so confident in him. You know what I mean? She just, you know, just the vibe that I got a little bit of time I was around them. She strike me as the young type of young lady who ain't like that with everybody. You know, it got to be the right type of mother, motherfucker to, you know, get that type of reaction out of her, you know, to get that type of conduct out of her. You know, she it, it got to be the right type of man in her life to have her inclined to be that type of way to him. You dig? I'm sure she's not just doing that with every, you know, dude that she meet and shit like that, you know. But when I seen the way, like I said, that she was just so attentive to him and she was so unselfish, you know what I mean? The shit sparked me up, you dig? That shit had, had me smiling the whole time, you know what I mean? Because I'm looking at my partner like, yeah, he done came up on a nice one. And I'm looking at her like, yeah, she got her a solid one in her life. You know, she can't go wrong with this type of gentleman, you know what I mean? And me, instead of trying to, you know, plot and hate and dirty Mac and all that old type of shit, I ain't do nothing but co-sign their whole situation the whole time. I'm like, man, I can see it. You know, I can see it. Y'all going to be happy, healthy, and wealthy together. Y'all going to be highly successful together. You know what I mean? And like I, like I say, that's the essence of this P. You know, a lot of motherfuckers, they just, they got selfish intentions and ulterior motives. You know, it's like they don't know how to be happy for their partner. You know, they see their partner with something, something, and it's like, instead of being inspired and motivated to go get their own, they want to have the same exact shit that they partner got. Like if they partner come up on a, a certain type of vehicle, you know, instead of being motivated and inspired to go get their own, they want their partner's vehicle. You know, if they partner come up on a bitch, instead of being motivated and inspired to go, you know, get that same caliber of a bitch, they want their partner's bitch. 
you know, just like snake shit, you know, and, and, and it's, that's a big part of the reason why society see the pimping the way that they do now, because you got these motherfuckers that call themselves pimps that don't know the first thing about being a pimp. You know, they trying to do some pimping, but you can't do no pimping if you're not being the pimping. I mean, you got to really be the pimping in order to successfully do some pimping, you know, and to successfully do some pimping and being some pimping, you know, it's a whole lot more to being some pimping than just getting some money out of a bitch. You know what I mean? It's a whole lot more to being the pimping than just, you know, getting a bitch to hand a trap over to you, you know what I mean? Because it's all kind of motherfuckers that bitches get their money to nowadays that's not pimps. They'll tell you they not pimps. Know what I mean, a motherfucker can have a dope sack on the side, but the bitch is giving him this money every single day. Know what I mean? That don't make him no pimp. You know, he might just be an opportunist. You dig? So that's just just one uh, principle of of this pimping. You dig? And it's many principles of this pimping. Did. Hold on, look like my connection weak again. Uh, what the fuck is going on? I don't know if y'all can hear me. Damn. What the fuck? Can y'all hear me? Okay, okay, we back active. But yeah, man. Like I say, it's, it's a whole lot of principles to this pimping and just getting some money out of a bitch. You know what I mean? You gotta, you gotta really be a gentleman about this shit. You dig? It's a whole lot of shit that the pimping ain't gonna do. Damn. Ah, my motherfucker signal is weak. Can y'all hear me? Okay, we back good. My signal keep going in and out, man. Y'all got to excuse my pimping. You dig? But like I was saying, it's a whole lot of principles. To be in the pimp. Damn. The fuck. Man. Can y'all hear me? Okay. We back active again, man. This shit keep going in and out, but I'm going to try to be. I'm going to do the mannequin challenge with my pimping right now. And I mean, I ain't going to move, you know, so so we can keep a strong signal around this motherfucker. You dig? <laughs> Ah, man, what the fuck? Okay, it's funny when I get closer to the window, my signal better now. But yeah, man, whole lot of principles to this pimping. You know what I mean? That, that go beyond just getting some money out of a bitch. You know, like I say all the time. The best way to tell some pimping is by his nature and his ability to do shit that the average motherfucker can't do. Know what I mean? Nah, man. Hey. Damn. The fuck? Damn. What is up with my signal? Shit. But yeah, P, I feel you, real man. But that's that's what that's what made me make this video. Know what I mean? Because I was I was uh I was speaking about an encounter I had with my partner this morning, man. He just come up on a fresh turnout, man, and uh it was just such a beautiful thing, man, to see them two interacting with one another, man. The way that she was conducting herself, you dig? She really like. This this young lady that he done came up on, man, she just conduct herself like like such a lady, you know what I mean? She was just so unselfish. I'm talking about uh when he eating his food, you know, she she making sure that everything is right for him, you dig? Like making sure he got everything he need without him having to ask for the shit, you know what I mean? Like making sure he got a towel to wipe his mouth with and all this old type of shit and when they get ready to drive somewhere, you know, he ain't even got to say that he tired. She just looking at his face and looking at his eyes and see that he might be tired and like, you know, asking him if he cool to drive and shit like that. Like 
just a bunch of shit, and I mean, that he didn't even have to, like, make mention of that she was just attentive to. She was just so into this man, paying attention to his pimping, you know, every move. You know, she was just on point with everything. And if she was so unselfish with her moves, you dig? Like, she wasn't even worried about herself. You know what I mean? And like I say, I think that, you know, she just wasn't worried about herself because she was just so confident in his pimping. You know what I mean? And that's why I call this video the essence of the pimping because me, myself, I'm not one of them type of motherfuckers that when I see my partner come up on a high caliber bitch, I'm like, damn, man, that's supposed to be my bitch. You know what I mean? How come he got that bitch and I don't? Like, me, I don't never think like that. When I see one of my partners come up on a solid bitch, man, you know, I'm applauding. You know what I mean? You know, I'm I'm uh, cheering them on every step of the way, you dig? Like, it's, it's a beautiful thing to me. You know what I mean? I love and appreciate that type of shit, you know? So, like, it be, it be them type of encounters, you know, that, that when a pimp might get discouraged and be like, damn, man, like the last 15, 20 bitches I done went through was all punks. Know what I mean? When you see your partner come up on a bitch like that, it reminds you of when you came up on bitches like that. Know what I mean? And it just lets you know that these bitches ain't different. Know what I mean? Women still feel the same way they feel or they felt 10, 15, 20 years ago. Now I mean, women still, you know, react to ten, react to things and you know they just the dynamics of a woman ain't changed, man. It's the same shit, you know. It's the dynamics of the motherfuckers in the game that done changed. Now I mean, like I say all the time, man, it start with the man. You dig? These women aren't even powerful enough to put the, 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 the total blame on them being punks. Know what I mean? It's a lot of suck-ass niggas in the game, you know? So it's like, okay, if a bitch come to a lineup of supposed to be pimps, know what I mean? It might be a line of a thousand pimps in front of her. Know what I mean? And on, out of them thousand, only one of them is a pimp. You know, she can't choose. You know, it's going to take that bitch her whole life to choose all thousand of them to find that one. You know what I mean? So the average bitch ain't going to get blessed enough to just pick that one off the top or, you know, within the first five choices that she make. You know what I mean? Out of this thousand, that, that she going to end up catching that one P out of the thousand that's a real pimp. You know what I mean? That's really the eyes for these bitches nowadays. So it's like, if a bitch got them type of eyes and she end up choosing a suck-ass nigga, you know... You can't really expect this bitch to really be some hoeing. She don't even know what real pimping is. She just know what a motherfucker that called herself a, a pimp was. Know what I mean? So, you know, she blow up on him and then choose up on somebody else. Know what I mean? And, you know, it's the same thing. He's a sucker ass nigga just like the last motherfucker was a sucker ass nigga. And like I said, out of that lineup that was in front of her of a thousand, you know, she she don't choose that one out of the thousand. So hold up. Yeah, a lot of times when they do choose the right one, they might not realize it. Cause like I say, a lot of times, man, those of us in the game, you know, like sometimes I might be the wrong pimp for the right bitch. And sometimes that bitch might be the wrong bitch for the right pimp. And, you know, so on and so forth. Because, I, you know, I could be real enough about my ism to say that. You know what I mean? It have been times, you know, earlier in my career where I was the wrong pimp for the right bitch. You know what I mean? Like, this bitch was the perfect bitch to have. You know what I mean? But my pimping just wasn't at the right point at that time, you know, to pimp on this bitch accordingly. You dig? And I done had bitches, you know, that was just the wrong bitch for my pimping. That might have, you know, left me. And she learned something from me. And she went on to the next P and he was the right one. Know what I mean, so she was the right hoe for that right pimp. Know what I mean, and, you know, maybe me or whoever else she fucked with before him leading up to him, you know, prepared her for that, for that right pimp. Made her the right bitch for that right pimp. Know what I mean, just like me, you know, I might have went through a whole bunch of, Holes where I was, you know, 
they was the wrong hoes for me or I was the wrong pimp for them. And it just prepared me, you know, to where I got to a point where, you know, now I'm, I'm, I got more accuracy in knocking the right hoes and me being the right pimp. You dig? So, but yeah, man, I, I say all that to say, man, it, it really start with the pimping, man. You know, a lot of these bitches, they don't know how to be nothing else but contrary to the game. You know, and a lot of times the pimpin just want to, you know, just call a bitch a fag. Sometimes they are just natural born fags. It ain't nothing you could do about it, man. But it's a lot less pimping going on, too. And when it's a lot less pimping going on, it's a lot less hoeing going on. You dig? You can't expect a whole bunch of real ass hoes in the game when it's a bunch of sucker ass niggas in the game, man. You know? And that's why I say, man, me coming into this 2017, that's my New Year's resolution, man. 2017, suckers don't exist. The motherfuckers is non-existent to me, man. If I see any type of sucker shit or a motherfucker is a known sucker, know what I mean? Because normally I'd be cordial with a motherfucker, you know? If, I know. if I know he not really the pimping like that and he a perpetrator, you know, I'd be cordial to him. But, man, moving into this 2017... If you a sucker and I know for sure that you a sucker, I'm not shaking your hand. I'm not saying what's up to you. You just don't exist to me. 2017, man, suckers don't exist. The motherfuckers is non-existent to me, man. Because I just put too many blood, sweat, tears, and years into this shit, man. To be, you know, blessing a sucker with the opportunity to shake a real pimp's hand, man. And encounter a real pimp and get to chop it up with a real pimp, you know. A motherfucker, he ain't paid. He ain't even trying to pay the motherfucking dues, you know. These motherfuckers who, like I say, been on Facebook for five, six, however many years. And ain't nobody ever met them. These motherfuckers that don't never come outside and fellowship with the pimping, man. I ain't got time to be kicking it with no motherfuckers like that. For real, man. I ain't got no time to be kicking it with no weirdos like that, man. You know, they they might have, you know, 50 mutual pimp friends or 100 mutual pimp friends. But out of these 100 mutual pimp friends, ain't nobody ever met these motherfuckers. You know, they just stay indoors all the time. Motherfucker don't even know if they really the pimping. But motherfucker just been seeing them on Facebook so long. It's like, you know, motherfuckers kind of come to accept them and shit like that, man. But. 2017, man, suckers do not exist. Not in Freeze's world. 2017, suckers don't exist. You know what I mean? But, <clears throat> yeah, man, as far as the real motherfuckers that do exist, man, you know, we got we got to be more considerate of each other. You know what I mean? You know, like I, like I was saying earlier, you know what I mean? A lot of motherfuckers in the game, you know, they, they really... They really pimp only in consideration of this of themselves. But when you pimp in consideration of the game as a whole, you know what I mean? Just like if a muff if you if you pimp accordingly on a bitch and somebody else knock you off for that bitch, it's gonna be a blessing to them. They gonna come up on that bitch and they just gonna see the way that the, not just the way that she checked the money, but just the way that she conduct herself as a whole. You know what I mean? When dealing with her folks. You know, a bitch to just know how to be attentive to her folks, just like her folks is going to be attentive to her. You know, the type of bitch that a pimp ain't got to, you know, tell her, do this, bitch, do that, do this, do that. Uh, uh, wash the dishes, bitch. Uh, make your bed up, bitch. Uh, brush your teeth, bitch. Take a bath, bitch. Like them type of bitches that, you know, a pimp ain't got to tell every single step of the way what to do. Know what I mean, them type of bitches is just, you know, they they so attentive to the pimp and they know what the pimping like before the pimping even say it. You know what I mean? They know what they supposed to do. Like if somebody knock you for a bitch like that, they going to see that off top and they going to be like, this ain't no regular bitch. This bitch done been pimped on. Know what I mean? And then you call and serve the man and he confirms like, yeah, man, you got you a good bitch over there, man. 
you know, happy pivot to you, you know what I mean? This is her whole facts, you know, these are pros, these are cons, but man, overall, you got you a good bitch, you know what I mean? She she a little boneheaded, you know what I mean? The bitch kind of clumsy, she be dropping and breaking shit, you know what I mean? But other than that, man, you got you a good bitch, you know? She a little dingy sometimes, you know what I mean? Her sense of humor might be corny as a motherfucker, but you got you a good bitch, man, you know? When you come up on a bitch like that, you feel like it's a blessing, right? So, just like you want to receive a bitch like that, in order to receive a bitch like that, you got to be sending bitches out like that, too. You know what I mean? Just imagine if everybody had that mentality of, I'm going to do my best pimping on every bitch. You know what I mean? Whatever bitch come fucking with me, she's going to get nothing but the best of my pimping. Imagine if all of us was like that. You know what I mean? I'm going to stick to the rules. This bitch going to get some, some magnificent, wonderful, fundamental pimping. You know what I mean? It's going to be fundamental, but it's going to be beautiful at the same time. You know what I mean? It's going to be some shit to where if this bitch go choose up with some with somebody else, you know what I mean? She ain't going to, you know, a, a sucker ain't going to even be able to knock this bitch. You know what I mean? This bitch only want to fuck with some pimping. So if, she, if somebody do knock me, it's definitely going to be some pimping. You know what I mean? It's gonna be it's gonna be more real hoes in the game when motherfuckers start looking at the game like that. You know what I mean? When motherfuckers start looking at the game like it's it's bigger than just me. You know what I mean? I'm not the only one pimping around this motherfucker. You know, I want the rest of the pimps to have real hoes. You know, I just want it to be a cycle of real hoes. You know what I mean? You know, hoes. If she blow up on me, she might not like the way my pimping is. You know what I mean? She going to go choose some more pimping. You know? It's just sad that, like, nowadays, if you really pay attention, man, a lot of times, a lot of these bitches, like, if you knock a, if you knock a bitch, right, that done fucked with somebody else before, a lot of these bitches, when they blow up on you, they go get a boyfriend, or a lot of times they go get a, uh, they go square up and go get a square job and move back in with their mama and all that type of shit. Like that type of shit ain't cool, man. A bitch supposed to be into some pimping, you know. And if a bitch do that, it, it kind of lets you know that the bitch only was into you and not necessarily the game. And, and sometimes that happens because you're dealing with bitches. Know what I mean, but. You know, if it was more pimping going on, these bitches would be more inclined to choose up and stay in the game. Know what I mean? For real, for real. But, you know, I would love to keep popping it and everything like that. But my motherfucking battery is on 5%. I need to recharge.